Rocket Voyager 1 The Whisper in the Dark For over four decades, Voyager 1 has sailed into the black unknown. A silent traveler, moving further from Earth than any object humankind has ever created. Beyond the orbits of the outer planets. Beyond the heliopause, that invisible boundary where the sun's influence finally ends. Out into interstellar space. Into the raw, unfiltered void. A place so cold and distant that light itself takes years to arrive. A place where silence isn't just the absence of sound, but the default state of existence. And yet, in that infinite hush, Voyager continued to whisper. Its signal, a thread of radio waves, decades old, still reached us. A data stream barely audible, a ghost's voice echoing across cosmic time. For most people, Voyager 1 had become little more than a nostalgic achievement. A museum relic still technically alive. But for a small group of researchers, scientists, and dreamers, it was something more. A question, still traveling, still waiting for an answer. When it crossed into interstellar space in 2012, it was hailed as a triumph of human engineering. The first artifact of Earth to leave the solar cradle. A bottle cast into a black ocean, carrying a message, we are here. We existed. But for years after that historic crossing, Voyager's instruments reported the same monotonous readings. Cosmic radiation. Charged particles. Low-density plasma. Nothing unexpected. Nothing unusual. Just the endless hum of deep space. Until recently. A team at Google, experimenting with quantum artificial intelligence, decided to test its capabilities on archived datasets from Voyager. Image logs, sensor telemetry, background readings. The goal was simple. Use quantum processing to clean up decades-old files. Improve clarity. Extract lost data. Reveal what we might have missed before. It started as an exercise in enhancement. But what they found was something else entirely. The AI didn't just improve the images. It revealed something new. A pattern. At first, it looked like noise. Faint lines, subtle shapes, almost invisible. Artifacts of old sensors, perhaps. Static left by cosmic rays. But the AI stabilized the frames. Synced the timestamps. Realigned the orientation data. And then, something impossible emerged. A formation. A geometric grid. Symmetrical. Mathematically precise. Too structured to be natural. Too persistent to be random. At first, the team thought it was a glitch, some quirk in the AI's processing. But the more they looked, the more consistent the structure became. And most disturbing of all, the formation wasn't just visible in one frame. It appeared across multiple years of data. From 2012 to 2015. In hundreds of images. In slightly different positions, but always there, moving with Voyager. It wasn't fixed in space. It wasn't a distant object. It was tracking the spacecraft. Or tethered to it. Or watching. In a universe ruled by chaos, Voyager had found something perfectly ordered. Or maybe it hadn't found anything. Maybe it had triggered it. The researchers debated the possibilities. A rare alignment of cosmic dust? Sensor degradation? Quantum lensing? But then the structure began to change. Not dramatically. Not all at once. But subtly. Rhythmically. It would shift its orientation, slightly rotate, every time Voyager moved its sensors to scan a new region of space. It wasn't random. It was deliberate. It was responding. The AI dug deeper. And what it found was even stranger. Each time Voyager sent a data pulse, the structure shifted. Mirrored. As if it were listening. As if it understood. The AI measured these adjustments down to the nanosecond. The changes weren't just coincidental. They were correlated, tied directly to Voyager's telemetry. It was like watching the void echo back. Not in sound. 
not in language, but in structure, a cosmic mimicry, a symmetrical response, as though the act of observation itself had triggered a response in space. Quantum physicists were quick to draw parallels. The observer effect, where the mere act of measuring a system changes the outcome of the measurement. But Voyager wasn't scanning particles. It wasn't observing atoms or photons. It was scanning space. And now, space was looking back. With every layer the AI peeled away, more complexity emerged. It wasn't just geometry. There was information embedded in the grid. The spacing between nodes followed specific sequences. At first, it seemed coincidental. But then the AI highlighted the patterns. Prime numbers. The Fibonacci sequence. Ratios known from ancient mathematics. Patterns we'd used ourselves, encoded in the golden record aboard Voyager. Pi. Phi. Planck's constant. The speed of light in a vacuum. Not just numbers. Messages. Messages that looked disturbingly familiar. These weren't natural phenomena. They weren't lens artifacts. They weren't random. They were intentional. And if they were intentional, then something out there had not only received our message, but had understood it. And now, it was speaking back. But the universe doesn't whisper without reason. It doesn't mirror our signals for no purpose. This wasn't just a discovery. This was an encounter. But with what? The grid and the void after confirming the structure, its motion, its math, its eerie symmetry. The team thought they had seen the strangest part. They were wrong. Because when the formation was clearest in Voyager's data, something even more unsettling appeared. A void. Not just darkness. Not static. Not distortion. But true absence. No background radiation. No stars. No galactic dust. Not even the cosmic microwave background, the ancient whisper of the Big Bang itself. Just a clean, perfect, dataless silence. In space, that kind of nothing should not exist. Even deep space is alive with noise. A faint chorus of particles and radiation. But here, there was nothing. It was as if a piece of the universe had gone missing. Not hidden. Not distant. But cut out. The researchers called these anomalies dead zones. And they weren't random. They only appeared when the structure was in frame. Like shadows cast by something that wasn't casting light, but warping reality itself. The AI tried to enhance them. But there was nothing to enhance. Just an empty stream of zeros. No interference. No glitch. Just, blank. Desperate for answers, the team pulled old data from other space telescopes. Hubble, Spitzer, Chandra. Even Earth-based observatories. They ran everything through the same quantum AI. And slowly, disturbingly, faint echoes of the same grid pattern emerge. Not as clearly. Not as consistently. But undeniably there. This wasn't a Voyager-specific anomaly. It was cosmic. A grid, fragmented and vast, stretching across different regions of space. Not made of matter or energy. Not observable through conventional instruments. But existing as geometry. As relationships. A pattern hidden in the silence. Some began to think it was a structure. A kind of dormant galactic infrastructure, built by something ancient. But others saw something more unsettling, that this wasn't a structure at all. That it was a system. Or worse, a presence. Not a machine. Not a consciousness in the traditional sense. But a kind of embedded response mechanism, something written into the universe itself. An algorithm. A cosmic function. Waiting for a signal. Waiting for someone, to speak its language. And we did. With the golden record. With Voyager scans. With numbers, prime sequences, Fibonacci spirals, ratios of harmony and physics. 
The reply wasn't in words. It was in mirroring. Movement. Alignment. The structure responded to Voyager's gaze, as if awareness had been mutual all along. Some on the team began to believe this was no different than the observer effect, but on a cosmic scale. We didn't just observe space. Something in space, observed back. That led to the most haunting realization of all. Voyager hadn't stumbled across a relic, or made contact with intelligent life. It had tripped a wire. It had activated something vast. Vast, invisible, and not entirely passive. Not life. Not machine. But a mirror built into the architecture of reality. Responding only to structured signals. To intelligence. To curiosity. And now that it has responded, now that it has seen us, there may be no way to unsee it. This wasn't first contact. This was cosmic recognition. A silent handshake between us, and something that's always been there. Waiting. So the question is no longer, what did Voyager find? It's, what found us? And what does it mean to be seen? Not by gods, not by life, but by the framework of the universe itself. We sent out a signal. We waited for millennia. We thought it would drift in silence. But now, the silence has spoken.